school corral sings a rousing rendition of our national anthem. Here. What do you have Stuff and you sit right here, all right? Hey, he'll be telling you, all right? So he'll ask you. It's going to be a long night, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome to Thorn Stadium in Houston, Texas. Tonight, the Nimitz Cougars are set to take on the Decaney Wildcats. Decaney comes in with two wins and three losses, while Nimitz is one and four overall. But both teams are tied at one and one in District 16-6A and currently tied for fourth place. Brandon, tonight's game features the high-powered passing offense of Nimitz versus the number three defense in 16-6A. Decaney is holding teams to an average of 208 total yards, and Nimitz finds themselves at the bottom of the district on defense as they are allowing 470 yards per game. Yanks, one of those plagued offenses that is, uh, puts up a lot of points for you, but then you have one of those defense that's allowing a lot of points. So not necessarily the greatest mixture, but like you said, uh, Decaney with the third overall defense? Yes, exactly right. Third so, overall defense. And, and again, uh, they're going against Austin Remo, the Nimitz Jr., who leads the league in touchdowns thrown with nine. Good Lord. We're still only in October. Yep. And uh, he's at 918 yards total, which leads the league. Uh, longest pass, 62 yards. He's only thrown three interceptions. Well, these are one of those exciting games where you got top offense versus a top-notch defense, and uh, we're going to see who's going to win that battle today. Fall is on its way. It's not quite here yet. <laughs> Monday morning, right? <laughs> so we're, we got to like those cool Friday night games, but uh, here we have a, a warm and muggy, windy Saturday afternoon evening game uh, for these two ball clubs. That's typical Houston. Shaking hands at midfield. Nimitz in the golden purple pants and Decaney in all white. Both teams wearing pink socks. Honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Oh, I thought it was Suna's favorite color. But yeah. <laughs> either one makes sense. They were taking a request. Our QA tonight, Merle Bertrand. Uh, back home, probably sitting on the couch eating bonbons. Good to have you, Merle. Typical Merle. Yeah, he's probably watching a little playoff baseball on the side, too, knowing Merle. <laughs> so, so DeCaney will kick off the Nimitz. Back deep for the Cougars is Timberland Sanders. I am a big fan of uh, the Nimitz Michigan ripoff helmets, but those look pretty sweet out there. Christopher Membrano will kick it off. Left-footed kicker, good kick. And fumbled at the three-yard line, picked up. 
And gets a Greg outside. Can he beat the man? He does to the 20 and finally gets taken down about the 24. So after fumbling the kickoff, Javon Davis, the sophomore, is able to get it out in pretty good field position. Yeah, quite incredible considering he dropped it there right at the goal line, was able to pick it up, had some good blockers, sprung it out to the outside, knocked out there right at the 25. Way to make something out of nothing. Sanders came over, acted like he was going to make the catch, and I think that kind of can confused him <laughs> and it will be number two Austin Remo in the backfield four wide receivers split far right quick throw out to the right side high it's caught and the defense all over him and there's and a flag there's on the a play flag there. it might have been a face mask but there were literally four defensive players Call is there. Yep, I I'm, see I'm guessing it's going to be against Decaney. Yep, and that's Good what it call. is—the face mask. An eye surgery, Jim. I'm one for one today. My lord, <laughs> it's coming together nicely. <laughs> the LASIK is paying off. <laughs> I mean, that was just spotted from here. <laughs> I've even got to zoom in on this camera, and I still don't even see it. Well, there you go. Nimitz making something out of nothing there. But if you're uh, DeCaney, you can't give them anything cheap, especially wow. with them, the number one passing attack. Wow, we're really moving this up here. Get the uh, flags moved up. We'll get this underway. Javon Davis in the backfield. Set up directly behind Remo. Now Remo comes to the line. And the pitch to Javon, breaks one tackle, gets hit, and will not make it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, he got hammered there by big number 55, Armani Williams, six foot, 235 pound senior. So second and 10 for the Cougars from the 40-yard line, their own 40. Three wide receivers split left. Jonathan Limbrick goes in motion and handoff again to Javon, cuts back and is hit immediately. Wow. wow. Man, that is. Defense is just absolutely reading it all over, completely running downhill. Malcolm Johnson with the hit, senior linebacker for the Wildcats. Let's see if they let uh, Romeo throw it here. So far, again, a lot of seniors on this Decaney football team, especially on the defensive side, and some big, big size up front. Now that explains the top three defense there. A lot of seniors usually means uh, guys. Ladarius Carey, Brandon, six foot, 330 pounds senior. Rebo looking to go, throws, man, on a rope, and it's complete. Out to the 42, they're now in Wildcat territory. Absolute beautiful pass there by Remio. Just saw his receiver streaking there over the middle, hit him there with, like you said, an absolute bullet. Picked up a first down, no problem. Sanders with a little curl in, and as soon as he curled in, the pass was on the money. So I've been excited to see this kid throw and not disappointed on his first one. Wow, that was a laser. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more, too. Dropping back again. Rolling right. Oh, and now he's oh. brought down from behind. Woo! Nice job on the backside by Trey Morris. Another senior linebacker for this DeCaney football team. Morris and Amarni Williams, the year he called there, already in the backfield again. They're just absolutely blowing by this, uh, this offensive line here. We lost Suna. <laughs> loss of 11, it looks like. My goodness. So second down and 21. Back in uh, Cougar territory again. Hand off up the middle, and he'll get a couple, maybe three yards for Javon Davis. Good. Yeah, good up front there. Really putting some blocking. Yeah, you'll hear the crowd go out a little bit. I think Suna got up there to try to go adjust. There it is again. She didn't fall out of the stadium, yeah. did she? <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Merle, we need a new, another producer. <laughs> Time for me to move over. Lost another one. Well, let's see if Nimitz can pick it up on third down again. Davis again, right by up, oh, almost moved too quick. Wow. Oh. Oh, let's see what they call here, incomplete pass. Yeah, I wasn't able to secure the football there. Carl Reynolds, senior wide receiver, had it in his hands, but unable to hold on. It probably would not have been enough for a first down, but uh, would have definitely got him back close. Instead, they'll have to punt. Fourth and 18. And Vasquez, sophomore, will kick it away for the Cougars. Back deep for DeCandy is Marcus Banks. Good kick, high, and Banks has to go back, gets it at the 10, and he's got some running room, and he's finally corralled there at the 20-yard line. So Caney will take over first and 10 from their own 20. Well, the defense held strong and was able to force a punt, even though they uh, had a first play face mask and was able to overcome it, even though the uh, Nibbets drove into their territory. So let's see what this defense has got in store. On the tackle for Caney. Direction for Nimitz, number 27, When it comes to offense, though, DeCaney is dead last. 213 yards a game. Ooh. It's their defense that's kept them yep. in ball games. I mean, you can see why, too. Daylon Williams, the quarterback, drops back. Got a man running down the sideline. He'll have to come back and help him out, and he'll take it himself and run out of bounds. About back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he didn't really do anything. He wasn't uh, looking down the sideline just yet. Like you said, he had a man wide open there for a moment. Daylin, a 5'9", 165-pound sophomore. And he'll stay in at quarterback. Terrell Ratcliffe also in the backfield. And Ratcliffe goes in motion. Quick screen out to Ratcliffe. Gets a block and is brought down immediately by number 21, Edwin Deerman. So far, big ups to this Nemitz defense. Pick up of about five yards, maybe six. Brings up third down and about four. Wide receiver in motion and the rolls to the right. Looking across the middle, everybody's covered. Oh, and he oh. drops it. Great pass, hit him right. <laughs> Sorry I hit you in the hands. Yeah, right, as a receiver, that's where you just hate to have it placed. Randy Adams, the junior wide receiver, tried to run before he had it, Brandon. Just did not. I think he was expecting a hit right there and uh, got a little bit happy feet and just was able to not secure it. But great pass protection there. You had all day to throw. So Sanders will drop back deep for the Cougars. As Stephen Hercules. Oh, what a great punter. Kick it away for. What a great punter's name. The Wildcats. Low kick, bounces. Did he get it off? Yes, he did, but it's a terrible kick. So the snap comes in low. Hercules with a Herculean effort just to get the ball away. Uh, unfortunately, I think that's only gonna be about a, a five yard punt. It looked like one of my punts. <laughs> I mean, that was, uh, he was able to pick up the snap and get something off there, but not much. And now Nimitz already in field goal range. Big, big opportunity for Nimitz here to try and strike first. 6.45 here in the first period. Remo, hands off. Man, just can't get any kind of lane here to run. Javon Davis is just getting back the line of scrimmage. And that Decaney defense is in the backfield before he even makes his first cut. Davis just a sophomore. I think you got to kind of open up the playbook here for a little bit of Remo. They're, they're obviously just crushing the run. Maybe hit him with some screens, a wide receiver screen. Hit him with some slants. 
They're just running downhill. In motion goes number 11, and Remo will drop back, and he'll take it himself. Good cut back up the middle, and man, great pursuit from the back side, but gets it down to the 19-yard line, pick up about six yards. And that's D out there on the tackle, number 19 there for Decaney. Like you said, he was just pursuing him hardcore. What's his first name? I was going to just <laughs> go with the last name there on that one. I believe they call him uh, E.H. for short. <laughs> Remo again. Keeps it. Comes around left side. It'll be enough for the first down. As he falls right about the nine-yard line. Let's see where they mark it. There you go. If you're, if you're Nimitz, this is probably where your run game is going to come from. It's just letting Remo drop back and either make a play with his arm or just take off with his feet. First and goal now for the Nimitz Cougars. Remo and Davis again in the backfield. And a quick hand off to Davis. Left side gets around one man. Can he break tackle? He did at the five, two, one. Is he in? Yes. Touchdown. Javon Davis. Davis just would not be denied there on that run. Just breaks a tackle, spreads it to the outside, just crashes into the backers right there at the line and is able to break the plane for six. So the botched punt turns into some points. For the Nimitz Cougars, they take the early lead. Special teams, man, it will kill you. Vasquez on for the extra point. Sanders the hole. Snap down, good, kick is up, and looks go like it went left, but it, it went sneaks right through. through the right bar. And Nimitz will take a seven to nothing lead over the Decaney Wildcats. We'll take a quick break. You're watching KMAX Sports on the Vine Network. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Look and left, throws into the end zone. And snap complete. again, he hits the turf. And Dick Hall scoops it up, Cameron Wilkins has it. Corner of the end zone. 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Jeez, touchdown. Ten, five, touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. Welcome back to Thorne Stadium. Joe Hollier and Brandon MacArthur bringing you live high school football here on a Saturday evening. Nimitz, Vasquez kick off, kicking off, and he kicks this one squibs Straight it. out of bounds. And out of bounds, so a break for Decaney as they'll take over with great field position. I'm not sure what that was I was about. just thinking, I don't know if they were trying to hit a mark of somebody and it just got away from them, but... Uh, and that's, that's going to cost him all the way up to the 40. Yeah, unless he was trying to just kick it off one of the players. And See if something miracle could happen, but that's that's a blunder you can't afford. So far, the kicking game has really been the uh, the errors right now. Interesting. They're only going to move it to the 30. Williams, still a quarterback, in the shotgun. Takes a snap, hands it off to the first man through. That's Terrell Ratcliffe, and he'll pick up about four. Number 15, Terrell Ratcliffe, So far, this Nimitz defense, man. Like, I know they've been uh, having a tough time this year, but they are just swarming to the ball. Again to Ratcliffe and should be enough yet for the first down. Enough. Yes, it is. Pick up about five yards and a first down. 
Makes it all the way out to the 42. Man, I will say I love the, the sound of the drum line, everything like that, high school, college football. More sports need it. Bobby Jones and Ratcliffe in the backfield with Williams. Williams hands it off. Nope, keeps it himself this time, and oh, he's spun out of bound. And I believe that big old number 53 uh, with a really nice play over there. Sean Roy, Should sophomore be linebacker. Should be a loss about three or four. Let's see where they mark this. Loss of two. So second and 12 now for DeCaney. Trying to take advantage of a interesting kickoff. So far we've only seen one pass here from DeCaney and blunder from oh, the wide receiver. Speaking of, uh, uh, false start perhaps. Yep, looks like it, yeah. Not sure who moved first, but. 53. That's Ravion Flowers there, the senior, 6'3", 275 pounds. Oh, Nimitz with a really big pep squad over there. Yeah, I know, right down there. Yeah, that's impressive. I and mean, you can see him down there. Yeah, that camera shot right there is perfect of them. Bringing the noise. I, it's, it's, uh, they travel quite large over there. Williams and Ratcliffe in the backfield. Williams looking to pass, and it's high and off the fingertips of number 12, Joshua Cephas. And I'll bring up third down and about 16. Digging the Nimitz band too. Nimitz playing man to man. Williams set, says to throw again. Got a man wide open. 40, 30, 20, 10, and touchdown. Wow. You talk about a missed miss assignment. I mean, he was standing there completely open. I don't know who blew the coverage, but great job finding him as he takes off down the sideline for an easy six points. And that was Joshua, who he missed earlier on, um, on the third down pass, on, uh, on a high, on the second down pass, excuse me, and then he did a little stop and go, and nobody went with him. Everybody stopped, stopped. and nobody went. I mean, especially on a third and 12, too. Wow. That's something that uh, you got to expect the man to start running deep. Just when you thought DeCaney was going to have to punt. The extra point is up and good, and we got a tie ball game with 235 left in the first period. Well, we got a, a good little game going. Yeah, here, so. exactly. We got a good offensive game, too. We have some people making some plays, and then uh, these quarterbacks, man, they're going to be dueling it out here, I think, today. We'll keep it here. Wind picking up. That's, a, that's another issue uh, is that front barrels down, getting closer. Winds have picked up over 20 miles per hour. Yeah, they're blowing out towards uh, the Jumbotron side there. So whoever's got the uh, kicking advantage towards the fourth quarter, that could be a big help. But yeah, you can see here on the replay, I mean, he was just wide open, taking off down the sideline, big stiff arm. Membrano to kick off for Caney. Gonna be one of the biggest kickers I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, let him get downfield, make a tackle. It was at Penn State that had the uh, fat punter. Did you ever see that guy? My Man, God. good leg. He, he's gonna kick this one through the <laughs> back of the end zone, and that's into the wind. Wow, very impressive. Sanders just lets it bounce on through, and Nimitz will take over. I mean, that'll be huge here. Like I said, so far the the kicking game struggled early, but. I think uh, DeCaney's got <laughs> something there. They must have hurt you. Yeah, all right. He got mad. Yeah, let's 
too with Romero. I almost called him Romero. Remo. 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 Uh, makes me think of a uh, Best of Times movie <laughs> Re with Reno <laughs> and Robin Williams. Remo and Davis in the backfield, I formation. Handoff is Davis up the middle, and that's probably his best carry of the, of the afternoon. Pick up yeah. about five. Good push up there by the offensive line, too, to kind of create that hole, and he just ran right through it. Davis is not a big back at all. One of those little scat backs. We don't have anything listed on him here yet, but, yeah, like you said, there's no way he's over 5'8". Johnny Bats is who he's been following. Up and Bats has been making a pretty big hole for him. Oh, it's yeah, and Bennett's going to use a timeout here. Second down and five as Nimitz calls a timeout. Well, at least it's a beautiful day for so far, no rain or anything like that. And my son, Gunnar Hollier, is trying to call in, but we can't take the call right now because <laughs> we're on the air live. <laughs> but right. I appreciate him calling in anyway. Right. You know, Maybe he wants to talk a little baseball. He might want to talk a little baseball. bit of baseball, but you never, know. you never know with him. He just got engaged. Whoa. What? Oh, didn't you guys do that at the house? No, we actually did it up in the hill, hill country. Oh. Uh, how was it? He did it. He did it up nice. It uh, kind of took took her by surprise, but we she say no. We lied to her a bunch <laughs> all day long, so she wasn't sure it was real. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Second and five out of a timeout. Remo pass slant and it, the throw was high and incomplete. Trying to hit Sanders. It was a dangerous pass there as he had two guys coverage, the safety in the corner, but closing in quick. Sanders, the uh, number four receiver in the district, averages about almost 19 yards a catch. Three touchdowns on the year. His longest is 58 yards. What's funny is on their roster, they have him listed as a QB, though. I don't know if he's back up and. Might see a wide receiver screen pass here soon, if that's the case. Whoa. They're going with a pass interference call here. Oh, wow. I don't know, I don't know he could have caught it. That's what I'm thinking. It might have been a little bit uncatchable there, but uh, maybe that's why he wasn't able to jump. But either way, that'll be 15 yards and a first down there for Nimitz. Penalties have really hurt DeCaney in this game thus far. Yeah, and usually you don't expect that from a senior-led squad like they have. and That's just simple errors. Can't give them free plays. It'll be first and ten for the Cougars at about the 43-yard line. I don't know what's taking so long here, but I think there's a... Oh, now we're going to have a discussion. Yep, we'll have a brief meeting. Yep, I had it over there. Yeah, right. No, he and came in. These guys are over here. <laughs> yeah. There's two of us over here. DeCaney's coach is four yards into the playing field, very unhappy. I don't know if they're talking about where the spot of the ball is, or but so far the chain gang hasn't No, the chain gang has not moved. They're starting to now they're slowly going to. move up. And it's, finally. Like, it's like they're in protest over I, there. <laughs> yeah, they're like, no. Well, they are the same co wearing the same colored uniform over there is Caney. <laughs> okay, so here we go. All right. First and 10 from the 43 of the Cougars. Quick handoff over up the middle, and Davis gets about two yards before he gets <laughs> just five, way late. Wow. On the tackle, number that's, a, that's a tough Dave little back. Moves. Carl Reynolds is the wide receiver wide left, and he, he is the number one receiver three, in District 16-6A. Does not have a catch yet here tonight. I don't even know if he has a target yet. 
Sanders, now he's looking at him, trying to fight him off, and good defense oh. over here by Marcus Banks. Great job by Remo, at least, to just get back to the line of scrimmage almost. It's, uh, only, actually, he lost a little bit there. He was looking at him, but Banks had Reynolds wrapped up over here on, on the near side. And it'll be third and nine for the Cougars. Remo and Davis again, I formation. Reynolds split wide left. He's looking at him. And he's just going to air it out for Reynolds. It's going to be a who, who wants it most. Oh, in and out of both hands. Banks had a chance at Banks it had a chance. Reynolds had a chance. Wow, nice oh, arm, though. I mean, <laughs> he just flicked it and whoop. Oh, flag on the field. And it's going to go against the Cougars. It's going to be declined. And Nimitz will kick this one away. They should at least. That. Finally, yeah, now they're running off. Yep. In comes Vasquez. I know it sounds ridiculous, but in a way, you kind of almost hope that pass was picked off. They would have been pinned down there yeah. almost on the four. Yeah, that would have worked in better than punt, probably. Number one, Marcus Banks. Well, the guy who dropped it there uh, with the great coverage, Marcus Banks, back there to receive the punt. Good snap. Terribly high, bad kick. And a bad bounce for Nimitz. Ooh, let it roll. Be down about the 31 yard line of DeCaney. And they'll take over from there. It's again 18 seconds until the second quarter. You're tied to seven. Oh, free flyover for the fans. Did I mention the airport's near here? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly even tell. Still, nice free flyovers for them every. <laughs> Five, seven minutes. <laughs> Be Williams and Ratcliffe in the backfield for DeCaney. And it'll be a swing to the right side. Gets a break. Uh, nice block from Ratcliffe. And as Randy Adams, Randy Adams bring, brings it out almost to a first down, but there's another flag. We'll see what this one is. <laughs> Everybody's pointing to it. Oh, the face mask against Nimitz, so they'll tack that on. That'll be a nice run. I mean, so far, it's the penalties have been just severe. Nothing minor. It's either a personal foul or a pass interference, but just kind of shooting themselves in the foot on both sides of here for Nimitz and DeCaney. Automatic first down for the Wildcats. The game the ball at the Minnesota 43-yard line. Williams over on the sideline as he he sees the clock. Yeah, like a quarterback that knows uh, where the clock is. <laughs> <It's usually laughs> we'll take a we'll take a break. As uh, these two teams are tied at the end of one, seven to seven. You are watching KMAX Sports Vibe Network. We're glad you enjoyed the KMAX Sports broadcast. But did you know that you can purchase a copy of this or any KMAX broadcast for personal use? Whether you're making a highlight video or just want to be able to enjoy this game years in the future, send us a note to info at kmaxsports.com. That's I N F O at kmaxsports.com. Let us know which games you're interested in and we'll set it up for a small fee. We can even do some editing for you. And the great thing, any purchase will send a portion of the proceeds to your school. Enjoy the game now and keep it forever. Purchase any broadcast for personal use. Hit us up, info at kmaxsports.com. Bringing your teams and your highlights to you. We are KMAX Sports. Socialize with us. You don't have what they call the social skill. On Twitter, at KMAX Sports. Or catch us on Facebook. Search KMAX Sports. Just another way KMAX Sports is bringing your team to you. Welcome back to Thorn Stadium. Nimitz and DeCaney in a heated battle here. As we go to the second quarter, Williams, the pitch 
left, and oh. he will be brought down for about a three-yard loss by number 21, Edwin Deerman. Deerman just absolutely hammered him to the ground there. Almost a wrestling-type suplex. And Nimitz really needed that after giving up the face mask penalty. It'll be second. And about 14 now. Williams and Ratcliffe again in the backfield. Handoff is to Ratcliffe. Tries Ooh. to break it outside and Ooh. he is Dang of stuffed. <laughs> Basically the entire defense on that stuff right there. Big number 16. Caleb Covington, senior linebacker with a big hit. Yeah, another loss. It'll be third and 16 now. Okay, guys. We're in a passing situation again. Here we go, right? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Worked out on third and 12. Let's see if it's third and 16. Same thing. Yeah, no safety help right now. Everybody's matched up and man. Daylon Williams drops back. Looking deep and they got a man open. Oh, there's a hole. There's a big yeah. time hold. Even my LASIK vision can see that, and the <laughs> flags come flying in. That was one of those where that Whoa, was blatantly man. obvious. Amarian Bryant just grabbed Joshua Cephas, and that's who, who got beat last time. I want to try and get some help on that guy. He literally was running past him. I mean, so far that's two plays where they just had no safety help. And when it's third and 16, you might as well just drop back, play the sticks. I mean, uh, newsflash, Cephas is fast. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right? Guy can scamper down the field. Looks like he can jump out of the building, too. He had to be tackled just to not let him up in the air. And they'll mark this one off. Brings it all the way down to about the 30, where are they, the 35, 34 yard line. Yep, right in there. Not like the NFL, it's not a spot foul. A passing interference, just 15 yards. But it'll be enough <coughs> for a first down. Yeah, another third down blunder there Man. for Nimitz. Keep shooting themselves in the foot. Big time. Williams fakes the handoff, keeps it himself around the left side, and he's got some running room, and he is going to make it untouched down the left side. I mean, see you later. Great blocking there. Sealed off that gap for him, and he was just able to take the sideline, like you said, untouched. and 34-yard touchdown run for Williams, and DeCaney takes the lead. And that's your quote-unquote last place offense right there. And they wow. Are looking like anything but. Those, those are the best kind of runs where nobody even lays a hand on you <laughs> for 34 yards. Right, especially as a quarterback. Hercule oh, they buff the snap. Oh. Is this going to work and out? Rolling it a two-point conversion. Is there no way? you got to be you kidding me. It up. You've got to be kidding me. Wow, and it's working. It's working. And, yep, you see the referee there signaling that the two-point conversion is good. Why get one when you can get two? Okay, that. So, that's Cephas actually picks it up. Oh, that's a touchdown there. Uh, Cephas actually picked the ball up and found uh, Varkis Gums. <laughs> I mean, just in the wide open in the back of the end zone there. I mean, that was the uh, the ultimate two-point conversion. But nonetheless, now it makes it 15-7, and if you're Nimitz, it makes it just that much more of a hole you have to climb out of. And you're going against the number three defense in the district. Yes, you have the number one overall offense, but it has been looking too smooth so far early. Another free flyover. That plane doesn't even look like it's moving. I mean, <laughs> I feel like I just can reach out and touch it. Mm -hmm. 
That's the 635 to Phoenix. Vasquez to kick. Kicked it out of the, through the end zone, going the other direction. See how he does with the wind. Oh, my. Back deep for Nimitz is Timberland Sanders. And a little short kick. And it will come down. Oh, did he step out of bounds? He did. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So it ends up working really good for DeCaney as it goes out of bounds around the 17-yard line. It will be first and 10 for Nimitz. So far, if you're DeCaney, this game has been going your way and more. Nimitz needs to get something going here. Remo, he's been the best when they've just been letting him drop back and either make a play with his arm or his feet. And I feel like you kind of got to go back to what got you the touchdown in the first place. I formation. Trying to get Remo with a hard count, trying to get a jump offside. And the handoff again to Davis and breaks one tackle. Nice little run there. Pick up about four. Makes it second and manageable here. Got to wonder when they're going to just kind of open one up here. But so far, Javon Davis, the more handoffs he's getting, the better rhythm he's flowing into. Five-yard pickup, second and five. Got a little bit of help. Now it's man coverage on the left side. And that's where he's going to go. Quick slant oh, across. Oh, big hit by the safety. But the catch was made in the first down. I believe that's Reynolds right on the catch there. That's yep. uh, Carl Reynolds. So it's first target and first catch of the day. And boy, did he pay for it on that hit. Surprised he held on to that ball. He was really tagged. I mean, that was one where it's just right over the middle and pop. So that's what elite receivers do. Hang on to the tough ones and get a first down for your team. That's setting up in the backfield. And now another timeout? Yeah, I think. Uh, who, t who called that one? This one's going to be on DeCaney here. I think they didn't like the way they were lined up. But so far, no call. Well, it was f funny. They had Reynolds uh, double covered and then right at the end. Oh, no. It's Nimitz. The corner slid over. And when he did, uh, Remo. Caught him on the slant. That's Nimitz's second time out of the half there. They're only going to have one left with 847 left. You're not going to believe this, but here comes another play. I mean, <laughs> right? That's exactly what I said. I just looked up, and here it comes. <laughs> and there you can hear it. This makes me think of, uh, where was it, old Shea Stadium that was right by the airport every Every other pitch, you just hear a plane. Or go to Brenham and watch the train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come through. First and 10 for the Cougars from the 35. Snap down and looking to pass. But Davis is trying to fight. And it's a scrum match. He gets about four. He's wrapped up there by. Bring up second and six. Oh, Darius Carey, yeah, six foot, 330 pound senior. I like this matchup on the outside between Banks and Reynolds. Yeah, they're definitely very scrappy. So far, they're just leaving Banks with Reynolds and man to man. and. Just doing a safety right there over the middle. Hand off to Davis. Try to get, get around one man. And oh, oh, what was that? Might have been a, that and looked like a flag. huge face mask. Yeah, it spun him around. You can see it thrown in there, and that's going to be another 15 yards tacked on. Ooh. Which should then at that point put them into uh, little little territory. Barry Sanders move there, a little hop jump to the left, got, you know, broke Davis free just for a moment. And then somebody reached out and grabbed that face mask. 
that's got to be the fourth or fifth face mask of the half. It's our best offensive play. I mean, <laughs> when in doubt, just stick out the face mask. Takes it into Wildcat territory at the 43-yard line. I might have Reynolds run down the sideline here on a fly route and just throw it up and let him go make a play. Banks playing really off of him right now. Remo and Davis in the backfield. And, and wow, minutes is going to be their final time out. Wow. wow. That's a second on just this drive. And that, that's got to be if I can get in there. It's got to be some frustration here. I just hope that doesn't come back here to Hanum when you just burn that many timeouts with 724 left. I know you need a touchdown here on this drive, but well, yes, and I say 7 like you said 724 left. It's not like yeah, we're not in a 2 minute situation or anything like that where you got to get it, but you at least want to leave yourself a do score here with some time left to try to see if you get the ball back. There, the there was something just the, the coaches are I, I got a number. Hold on a second. One of the, one of the guys just wasn't set up right. Hanum again as if they're avoiding penalty or hanging out on that. I'm thinking it was uh, Sanders. Focus was? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much longer that dude was supposed to be. I think his left went under him and then reached out in on that huddle. <laughs> Cameraman in play by play TV. <laughs> <laughs> they might get the team back. Get paid for this cheap job. right side he's got a man caught and out of bounds i think that was sanders that is sanders so wow yeah hayes what a timeout used right there i guess maybe they weren't worried about where he was lining up but instead drawing up a Taking, taking their sweet time getting the ball set. Finally, they get it. And it looks like. <laughs> no, way. of course, what is going to happen? A timeout. Yeah, DeCaney says, oh, we need to talk about this. We'll take a quick, short break and bring it back after this. Your DeCaney Wildcats lead the Nimitz Cougars 15 to 7 with 7 11 left until halftime. You're watching KMAX Sports Pipe Network. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B Y P E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAC Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAC Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAC Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to Chuck at KMAXSports.com or Merle at KMAXSports.com or contact that Sports Booster Club directly. Oh, KMAX so Sports much. will gladly work Remo, with you. Pitch and left side, Davis trying to get around the corner to the five. Ooh, just crushed out of bounds. Marcus Banks continues to put big licks out there. Drives Davis out around the three-yard line, maybe the four. I think what you do here is you uh, try to let – I'd let Remo make a play here. I'd send my wide receivers kind of on slant routes, and if it's not there, then let them scamper it in. 
Big number 29 bat sets up on the left side. Let's see if they go that direction. Remo, hand off to Davis, right up the middle, falling oh, bats, touchdown. Too. Or you could just pound it straight up the middle and say forget what the commentator says. And that makes Jordan Davis, the little man, just scampering right through the tackles for an easy six. So we're we going for two here or no? Uh, that's a good question. I guess they're not going to so early. They'll wait till later in the ball game if they need to, but I don't know. Maybe they'll do the uh, you know the stereotypical let the uh, <laughs> fumble the snap and then hit the guy in the back of the end zone. Sanders Sanders will hold. Vasquez with the extra point attempt. Gets it's up on his way and good. And good. So they elect. We go for one, but so they'll trail it 15 to 14 with 6.26 to go until half. Well, nice drive. Yeah, they used all their timeouts on it, though. And, but nonetheless, yeah, you can see as Williams easily sneaks up the middle there for an easy six points. Great job by the block in there. And, oh, Westfield versus MacArthur on October 18th. Good school name. MacArthur... Uh, Beat Aldine uh, yesterday, 25 to 23. Aldine had the huge losing streak. Ah, snapped, huh? Uh, snapped earlier this year, and now they have a new one going. <laughs> well, at least they went on a brief winning streak of one. Uh, also, other games played yesterday: Westfield over Eisenhower, 42 to 14, Ooh. and Spring over Davis, 35 to 22. Well, unfortunately, MacArthur basketball also lost today against, uh, I believe it was Katie Tompkins. Or Tompkins, or one of those T's. Too many schools here in Texas. Well, Davis, Eisenhower, and Westfield were tied up until yesterday, and I say Davis lost. This, they did it again. He's going to go right out of bounds. Not sure what in the world's going on there, but I, are they just willing to give up the yards? They're, but they're going to have a talk with him. They look <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he is like laying into him. <laughs> you have one job. <laughs> okay, so it's not just us. Yeah, yeah right? I mean, it's, so, it's in it. uh, yeah, Vasquez has been really good on the extra points. It's the kickoffs that he's been having some trouble with. It's just an interesting route. Like, is it a squib kick? Are they going for a specific mark on the field and going after a guy? Yeah, but I, I think he's supposed to be kicking it down that right hash mark. But man, he is just just booting it right out of bounds. Right out of bounds, like not even trying. All right, DeCaney trying to extend their one-point lead. Wow, end off through the first back through. Be a pickup of about four for Kevin Garcia. I think that's the first carry for him to, to this this game. Six one one eighty one hundred eighty five pound sophomore running back too. He stays in the backfield with Williams. In motion is Epps. Hand off again to the big sophomore. Ooh. Only a yard gain for he's driven Number back. Devon Garcia, ball carrier. Edwin Deerman again. Um, a shot. Curry. Contact. Number 42 there for minutes. Edwin Deerman. Deerman's having himself quite a game on defense. Yeah, he has, and he's been laying the lumber too on some people. Well, third here down. comes magical third down. That's been the down for Duquesne. Whether it's been a touchdown on third and 12 or a, or a penalty on third and 16. Garcia's still back in the backfield, and they're looking to throw. Oh, had a man. Oh, a little give and go. He'll, he'll have him if he can lay it in there. Oh, Ooh, no. Yeah. Oh. Flag. You got to turn and look. Yep, exactly. He was just Space straight guarding. looking at the defender. Pushed right off of him, too. So that's going to be an easy one. And again, third down blunders for Nimitz. And that's three different series and where they again, should have been having it's a punt. Cephas that they're having so much trouble with. He did the little button hook to the inside and, the, and then took off once Williams rolled out. 
Yeah, yeah, like you said, he had him the first time, but then it run the button out there, then took it upfield, threw it too short. But unfortunately, Fender's just face guarding, and that's another 15 yards and an automatic first down there for Decaney. Takes it down to the 44 of Nimitz. And off Garcia left side, tries to cut back in, now cuts back out. Another flag as he dropped after a pickup of only one. I think it's going to be a holding here. It's in that area, isn't it? Especially on the back side. Yep, and that's what it will be. Yep. Back and forth on penalties. And I'll drop him back 10. Should make it first and 15. And that pushes him out of Nimitz territory. <laughs> first and 20. Oh, yikes. Looks like Ratcliffe is back in. And back. Oh, big quick out again to see if this gets by. And Marion Bryant brings him down, but after a pickup of about 11. Yeah, Bryant's been really struggling on Cephas out there, and it's just he doesn't know to play him up close or try to play him long, and right there he gave him a little bit of separation and hit him on a quick route, and he was able to scamper down there to make it second and manageable. Oh, but pick up about 15 now. But, yeah, he's got a – I mean, you can pick it up again if you want the quick out. Yep. Hand off, left side, tries to cut back oh. in, did not. What an arm tackle. I Make it very – Oh, and uh -oh. some extracurricular activity there. And see who they call it on. Ashad Curry is the one who made the stop. Let's see what they're – Talk it over. Hands to the face, maybe? I don't know if it was a little bit late afterwards. Yep. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's going to move him on back. So, Ravion Flowers with the unsportsmanlike conduct for DeCaney. And that will negate all the good that they've done this yeah. far on this drive. And that's 25 yards and just penalties Ooh. alone. And I'll push him back again out of Nimitz territory. This will make it a second, a third down in a mile. Should have been third replay. down. <laughs> third down and 18. It from should be second down and 18, right? Should have been a replay it down. Because they have third down on the marker over there and second down on the Jumbotron. Jumbotron's probably right. Looking for Cephas. Uh, he's going to take off. Take himself. Oh, uh, I think he's a pass the line. Uh, I think that's coming back. Where's the flag? There it is. Yeah, he yeah. definitely. That's going to be a loss of down there. And back it up even further. I mean, it was a great idea, but yeah. I mean, usually you, you only need a little bit of part of the body that would still be behind the line. Not the whole piece needs to be back there, but he was clearly. So we'll see. I'm sure that's going to come all the way back, unfortunately. And another penalty against DeCaney. 330 left until half. Yep. Pass the line of scrimmage. It should be third down, though. That's the thing. I think that's what they're going to talk about here. They're going to punt, but it should be third down. Nobody's arguing it. I mean, even the defense is still. I. Yeah, they have third and 18 on the Jumbotron. I know I'm not crazy. No, they're going to change it, but. So DeCaney will kick this one away. Sanders back for the Cougars. <laughs> the only man back. And they get this one away and it'll drop in front of him. Huge Center hop. Needs to grab it at the five. 
and that's about as far as he's going to get back out to the 12 maybe. Wow, what a wicked hop there. Number one. Not sure why he was back so far, especially after DeCaney had trouble kicking earlier. Yeah, exactly. He should have never let that ball drop. Had he caught it, it bounced around the 25-yard the, uh, line. Yeah, he could have easily scampered for probably about a 5-yard 10 net there, but instead with wicked hop and DeCaney getting a break there, that will drop him all the way back to what, about the 12? Nimitz will take over from there. First and 10, trailing this one, 15 to 14. Austin Remo pitches to Davis right side. Davis gets stood up, but after pick up, pick up about four, maybe five. So Davis starting to, to get a little bit of yardage now. Yeah, he just need, he's one of those rhythm backs apparently that just kind of needs the volume, and once you give it to him, he'll start to create some yardage as he scampered at least over 50 yards by now. Uh oh, what we got going here? Can I say we need somebody on the right side? Yeah, just okay, mayhem. Four right wide now. receivers left side. Nobody in the backfield except Remo. That'll be about 240 left on the clock and ticking. They did a quick screen last time they had this formation. Caney up and wide receivers and he's having to scramble now get rid of Left it side oh that was almost get rid of it oh man oh it takes a huge shot number two Austin Remo, the ball carrier. not enough for a first down got it close though i mean he made something out of absolutely nothing i thought he should have tossed it away great but great job by remo just hanging in there and being tough and taking a huge shot on the sideline Should be, there we go. Third down and three. Third down, two, minutes. Remo and Davis in the backfield. Fake to Davis. Quick slant again, and it'll be enough for the first down. Nice diving catch there by Sanders. Yeah. Not only that, way to just make corral that so the ball doesn't hit the ground at all. 140 clock is now an issue. And no timeouts. What are those timeouts you were talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be one of those situations here where you're going to have to do a little bit faster pace than this. Taking a long time getting a call in from the side. It's that's the problem with using all your timeouts. 20 seconds has passed just trying to get off a play. Rolling left, throwing. And caught and Huge hit gets out of bounds, but it'll be enough for a first down. Reynolds and Banks over there. Wow. I mean, he was just thwap on that hit right there. That's the matchup we've been watching all night. It has not disappointed at all. First down for the Cougars. A minute 13 until half. Remo Davis again in the backfield. Three wide receivers right. Remo drops back. Got a man in the middle. And going deep now. Oh, Sanders. Almost Sanders made it could not come catch. up with it. Wow. I mean, he made a great adjustment there in the air. Almost it got a two hands on it to corral it in, but just didn't get enough of it. Clock stops with 105. Brings up second and 10. Number 17, Omari and Thomas. From the Cougars, 38. Well, here in high school, clock stops on the first down, so you don't need to keep going for it all. You can pick up first downs and get to the get to the line there and run some more plays. The problem is, is how long right. it takes. Got some running room. Needs a block. Now throws it. It's tipped oh. and almost intercepted. He did have a man wide open. What an athletic play yeah, there. Sanders was wide open, but somebody got a hand on it. I did not catch. I think that's Malcolm Johnson, number nine, the senior linebacker, who just made an insanely athletic play, reaching a paw up there and knocking it down. It was either Malcolm Johnson or Ronnie Thomas. Well, now you got to be careful not leaving too much time left. And yeah, the punting game hasn't been phenomenal. Third and 10. Three receivers to the right. Remo drops back. 
Everybody's flying down the field. And he'll throw this one away. There's not even a I receiver. I didn't see anybody in the area. I guess they're going to say he's out of the tackle box. Well, that was a uh, dangerous throw there. And they'll bring on the punt team. Fourth down. 51 yeah. seconds until Chick fil A time. Woo! Can't wait. Flag on the field. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little uncensored, unsponsored content right there. Oh, and a holding penalty. Will improve the field position for DeCaney. Vasquez back to punt. Marcus Banks. Last punt, kind of just went straight up in the air. Yeah, and he's punting into the wind, too. It's not going to help him out. High snap. Got it. Oh, good rush. Got it away. Good punt this time. And it will drop and take a Bikini bounce. Good hands there by number 30, Raheem. I'll leave 40 seconds left on the clock here. And maybe enough couple of plays here to kind of drive and get a field goal out of it. They got a great kicking game. Into the win, too, and their kicker's got a great leg. Let's check the receiving numbers on Cephas. It's not even listed in the top ten. Wow. Surprising. Very. He's had a phenomenal game today, too. They're going to roll out. Oh, had the man, just threw it too short. One hopped him. And that yeah, was Cephas. I was going to say to guess who. They have him listed here at 6'4", 185, even though they have him down as quarterback. But they just got a lot of people listed at quarterback. Stops the clock with 33 seconds. Caney with still two timeouts left, so still plenty of time here to run some plays, get it upfield. You don't have to necessarily go straight for the sideline. Bobby Jones in the backfield, and he'll get the handoff around the right side and out of bounds. Number 21, Bobby Jones, the ball carrier. Great job there by Bobby Jones. It stops the clock with 26 seconds. Not only did he uh, pick up some good yardage there, too, got out of bounds. So, like you said, stop the clock to make it a uh, third and manageable. Pick up a seven for Jones. <laughs> should have triggered. He should have triggered. <laughs> Fake to Jones. And keep Williams to the right side, and he'll be dropped for a loss. Shouldn't have gone out of bounds there, though. He should have just went down to let the clock tick. I mean, Nimitz doesn't have any timeouts, so now it forces you to either punt or go for it here. Fourth down, 18 seconds to go. And without any timeouts, let's see what they decide to do. Yeah, they're going to have to punt it. Yeah. I mean, bring on Hercules, right? Fourth down, the game. That was a uh, that's a mistake there by Williams. Oh, Hercules has one job here, and that's to get this off. And again, Sanders way, way back. And they've got all the men up on the line there. They'll bring the house. Sit away. Sanders will come up and make the catch. Oh, Drops buffs it, it and gets hit immediately. But he'll hang on to it. Well, with nine seconds left, I think you just take a knee here, go into the locker room, down to one, make some game adjustments, and see if you can come back out in the second half. I say you air it out to Reynolds. <laughs> well, just go for it. <laughs> go, for go big, it. baby. <laughs> take a shot. I mean, it is high school. Take a shot. Run the flea flicker. And they'll get set. Nimitz from the 28. 
Remo dropping back. And they are. Wide My receiver. Lord, Joe. He'll air it out. Left side. <laughs> he'll overthrow the coverage. Oh, and he'll do it right through his hands. I, did you know something that I didn't? That was incredible. <laughs> Demetrius Brooks back there <laughs> for, <laughs> for DeGaney. And what a call. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's two seconds left on the clock. <laughs> What's happening next? That LASIK surgery gave you more powers, Miss Cleo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm losing weight, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to still be There's in the shotgun There's a lot of room, here. right? Look at the room in the middle. I mean, just Just open. throw that slant in the middle. This time they do your and guy. Here you and go. Davis getting some, some numbers. Can he get a block to the outside? He's at the 30, and he'll be run out of bounds there. That will patent his stats <laughs> there for him. <laughs> nice 50-yard scamper. Wake up tomorrow like, wow, that guy ran all over the place. <laughs> but nonetheless, that'll take us to halftime with the Caney up 15-14 here on Nemitz. And offense has been a little bit stagnant, so let's see if second half they'll come out a little bit fired up. But give it up to the defenses so far. Yeah, kind, of, kind of the game we expected. Yeah. Uh, good offense and a good defense going head-to-head. -head uh, <laughs> Just got to minimize the, turn so the penalties here. And, and the crazy thing is, a botched play <laughs> has led to them having a lead. Yeah, so true. Yeah, the, the two-point conversion, quote-unquote. Fumbles the snap, picks it up, rolls out of the pocket, hits them deep in the corner of the end zone, and that gives them the 15 points. And, you know, if this game ends up being a one-point victory, that's something uh, nobody's going to remember except Seriously. me and you and, and that other team. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. We, lo we lost this game on a botched extra point. <laughs> right. Well, that'll take us into the break. We'll be back. Uh-oh, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Are you going to run one? Oh, let's amp oh, it up, man. Look, as soon as uh, it's produced, I'm going to throw a vibe video at you. Uh, but we'll bring back the uh, second half action after halftime. You're watching KMAC Vibe Sports Network. What's going on? Matt Malatesta here, Chief Content Officer of Vipe Media. We're here inside the program of Nimitz High School in another installment of the Aldean ISD Network. So, Nimitz High School produced Brittany Griner, one of the most famous players in the WNBA. You got Aaron Glenn, Jason Glenn, tremendous stalwarts in the NFL at, and at Texas A&M. You got current NFL player Michael Thomas, also in the league, Marion Christ, Josh Huff. They were tremendous college athletes. So we are going inside the program with Coach Slater and the bunch. They beat Spring last week. They've got DeCaney this weekend. Let's take a look inside the Cougar Den. All right, hey, this is Matt. We're here. In Nimitz High School. All right, Coach, big win last week against Spring, propelling you against Decaney. What did, What were some great takeaways from last week? I just think it was great that we were able to finish the football game. You know, we got a little bit of lead there in the first half, and then Spring did a great job coming back and, and having a chance to win at the end. But defense stepped up and made a play, and one and one in district now with an opportunity, you know, if we can – continue success and continue to get better to have a chance to, to get in the playoffs. So our focus is just on the game this week against the Caney. Talk about some of your guys that we should be looking out for. Who's some of your team leaders, vocal leaders out here, offense and defense? Well, offensively, we've got our two receivers. we got Carl Reynolds and Timberland Sanders. They do a great job on and off the field. Defensively, Ashot Curry, uh, Edmund Dearman, uh, Mercedes Hopkins are the guys that take care of the defense. Um, talk about, you know, Playing Where's the Caney, what did they Where's pose Bob? that you know could be tough for you guys? I went to scout them against Westfield, and they played Westfield real hard De defensively. They're they're big and fast. And, uh, they they're aggressive. Um, offensively, their quarterback is is very shifty and got great feet. They got a running back that can run, so they're going to pose a great a great problem to us on both sides of the ball. This place has produced some people, right? Some big time players. Big time athletes, you know, from Brittany Griner to Josh Huff to Michael Thompson in the league now. 
you know, talk about the history kind of of Nimitz and what you guys have produced here. To understand it, we put uh, nine players in the NFL, which is the second most uh, players in the NFL out of any high school here in Texas. So there's quite a history of, of football being played here. I've got a couple of guys on my staff that played here, uh, Xavier Bledsaw and uh, Kelvin Chatham. And then uh, David Suggs, my defensive coordinator, he's the head coach here uh, when Michael Thomas uh, went through here. So, you know, we got guys that know the history. There's been a lot of history and just trying to get back on the winning side of history. Win and lose on the field is one thing. Talk about what you're doing outside of the football field. What do you kind of determine as winning for some of these kids? I just think the whole program, is, it, it's functions to help young men, whether it's here or Katie or anywhere else, just to help you know, go from adolescence to adulthood to help these young guys to give them some strategies to be successful later in life, be successful husbands and fathers and employees and employers. So we talk every day about being disciplined, about doing little things, about doing the right thing, you know, excelling in the classroom because it's their education that's going to carry them. You know, athletics ends for everybody, but your education takes you you know, for the rest of your life. So those are things we focus on. Outside, you know, when we get onto the field, everything's about execution and trying to win, but the, the broader picture is to help these young men you know, mature into, into good fathers and husbands. All right, Coach, you've been here for several years. Talk about some of the guys that have come through that you've seen and coached over the years? Oh, wow. Uh, it's been some real good young men that have come through here. Uh, Marion Grice, who's an outstanding running back. Josh Huff, who uh, was a receiver for me in his senior year. They changed him to quarterback. A uh, young man named Marshall Lloyd, who was a tight end for me, played defensive line at, at Central Arkansas. Uh, of course, Mike, Michael Thomas, who played here. Uh, Zarek Rawlings, right. who's a quarterback for me. He went to the Air Force Academy, and I think he finished it at Elephant State, if I'm not mistaken. So we've had just young, outstanding young men like him come through this place. You know, wins and losses are one thing. What, What's important to you? What are you also trying to instill in these guys outside of the football field? Oh, asset. Yeah. You have to learn to be an asset to society because high school is temporary and life is forever. And you have to have some foundation here in order to be a good quality citizen. You need to give to society rather than take it. So we try to teach them all the responsibilities and duties that they come along with that. So at minimum, we give it to them here and it won't be a total culture shock when they get out in life and they're on their own. Hey, you too. All right, guys, big win. We're quarterback. Austin Remo, Carl Reynolds, one of the leading receivers in the city of Houston. Okay, we'll talk to you first. You know, how important is a win like that against Spring to kind of propel y'all for the rest of the season? Just gets everybody going and like, kind of like the school behind our back and support that we need. All right, Carl, being one of the, you know, top receivers in the city of Houston, do you feel like, you know, when you're playing, are you getting everybody's best game? Everybody knows who number nine is on the opposing team. Um, how do you deal with kind of being that number one target on, you know, for, for Nimitz? Really, I just keep working every day. And uh, whatever goes down, it happens. I just keep winning. All right, so what do y'all do outside of football? Football is all the time. But y'all got to do something outside of football. Video games, girls, what's the, what's the deal outside of football? Uh, uh, all I play is 2K19. <laughs> I play basketball, that's it. Do you play you play basketball for Nimitz also? Yes, sir. What do you see on the, you know, defensive side of the ball? Marcus Banks is over there, one of the top, you know, defensive backs in the country. What's that gonna be like, you know, kinda going head to head with him? Well, it's gonna really be a challenge. I like competing with everybody that think they could do something, I got you. I'll do something too. Alright, there we go. This is Matt. The Nimitz Cougars, big game tonight against the Caney.
the Decaney High School Blue Legion. We would like to extend a sincere thanks to our parents for all their help and cooperation. And President Sophia Malame, Color Guard Officer are Amanda Martins, Yarsley Pennyhagen, and Alexia Alomar. The Blue Legion marching band is under the direction of Chase Giddings, Paul Fletchens, Israel Lopez, and Lindsay Alvarado. Director of the Canyon High School Band is Pet Cooper. Superintendent of Schools is Dr. Rodney Watson. Assistant Superintendent of High Schools is Dr. Ibrahim Olivo. Doctor, Director of Performing and Visual Arts at Spring ISD is Dr. Joe Martin. Principal of the Canyon High School is Mr. Alonzo Reynolds III. Thank you for your continued and valued support of our students. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nimitz High School for the Aldi Independent School District with principals Dr. Crystal Watson, Tanya Landry, Area Superintendent Dr. Todd Davis, and Superintendent of Schools Dr. Latanya Foskey. Welcome you to tonight's halftime entertainment. And now, entering the field, the international award-winning scoreboard and dance team. The 2018-19 majors are under the direction of Ms. Rosalie Lopez and the field direction of Junior Admiral Kaylin Lopez. The angels, the angels would like to dedicate tonight's performance to our little angels. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy your angels as they perform their interest to NFL on Fox.
And now, the Pride of Cougarland, the 2018-2019 Rowan Cougar Band. The Rowan Cougar Band is under the direction of Melinda Cook and Gabriel Andorra, with percussion technician Ordell Perez. Now, please uh, direct your attention to the 50-yard line, where drum majors Tanya Fanal, Malcolm Benaz, and Chris Cosame will perform the drum major salute. The band section of the week is uh, Mellow Fall. The band student of the week is Julianne Valier. Tonight's performance is dedicated to the survivors and current fighters of breast cancer. Tonight, the band will present the entirety of the 2018-2019 UIL competition show, Trap in Time. The second movement will feature Samantha Martinez as the blue solo. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy your roaring cougar band.
Booker Bang. And now, for Booker fans everywhere, here's our fight song, Hell Dead. Welcome back to Thorne Stadium. Joe Hollier and Brandon MacArthur set to bring you second half action between the Nimitz Cougars and the DeCaney Wildcats. DeCaney leading this one, Brandon, 15 to 14, thanks to a botched extra point that went for two. <laughs> Just how they drew it up, according to the coaches, too. <laughs> Talking to the coaches here at halftime, that's what they said as they came out of the box, they kind of laughed. I said, if y'all end up winning this one, oh, there it is. They're finally. Finally the kickoff that they wanted, and it's going to still backfire. I think it yeah, it's still out to the 40. 40. <laughs> still <laughs> out to the 40. I guess the uh, returner for uh, DeCaney is just so dangerous, but it still costed them 40 yards every time. Well, it's, uh, Marcus Banks that's back there. Um, receiving the kickoffs for DeCaney, and they are just not giving him a chance. Damian Hawkins is number eight in the district in kickoff returns. But again, they're not giving anybody a chance to return, return one normally. So DeCaney will take over. Hit the 39, quick pass out to the right side, and There's guess a what? Of course. That's how we started the game. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It might be a holding there. Or, or Well, nobody was touched Joshua. Is it a legal shift? What is it? Legal man uh, down. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I <laughs> we'll get well, we'll find out. Call here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they'll take the down, be second and ten. Interesting. Especially from where they are. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You'd want to probably back them up at least to the 35. But nonetheless, makes it we go. second and ten on the 39. Williams and Garcia in the backfield. Quick screen out <laughs> there. Yeah. You, you can hear the coaches in the booth next to us saying they're just giving up way too much space on the right side. And as a corner, you got to kind of get up there and jam them a little bit. And 
like you said, they're just giving them tons of space, which makes that screenplay easy first down. That was uh, Marcus Banks with the reception. That guy's everywhere. He is. Corner, wide receiver, punt returner, kick returner. Back. Yep. He's, I mean, he's doing it all. I think it's a matter of time until we see him taking snaps. Banks splits out wide left. Williams drops back. He had him again, a little give and go. Oh, oh, oh no. it's going to be picked off. Oh, did he catch it? No, he's saying it's – I didn't ever saw the football hit the ground, but – I think he caught it, but I think he find, by the time he got it, he was out of bounds. That would have been an incredible play. It should be Sh Sean Roy there, number 53, with the pass breakup. So second and ten. Well, they uh, got a about a half-yard football spot. Now they, now they fix it. I think it's more on the flag guy over there. <laughs> In motion, handoff underneath. And good pickup of about oh, wow. eight. That'll make it third and short. That was Ratcliffe. Yeah, great blocking. All he had to do was make one simple cut, just jump over there for an eight-yard gain. Good, good misdirection by McKinney, and now they've got a uh, third and short, a little more manageable. On that one, number 56, Gordon Layton. McKinney can do a lot of things here. Ratcliffe in the backfield, handoff his hand left side, and he's hit. Right, he will not get wow. anywhere near the first down. Big number 42. Ashad Curry. He called his name a couple of times senior today. Senior defensive end with a big hit. He did a great job breaking that up into the backfield there, and that's going to make it fourth down. I believe they're going for Might it. Might as well go for it. I mean, yeah. you're already across. At the 42 of uh, Nimitz. I'd be kind of put a QB spy on Williams here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him roll out and try to pick it up with his legs. Oh, look who's going go. to. Yeah, this yeah, is way there too it much. Is. Just and you can hear the coaches there. It's just, But you know what? If he come up and play him tight, he's going to blow by him. Exactly. He'll go over the top, as we've seen a couple of times today. They, but They cannot stay with Cephas. 6'4", 185 pound senior listed as a quarterback but tonight he's uh, just killing the Cougars as a wide receiver it's one of those that you just might as well keep going to him until they stop it it's been their big play whether he's been picking up first downs on pass interferences or holding or anything of that nature yeah uh, uh, Bryant has oh he's going go back right up. at Bryant again and this time he overthrew him and I mean Br Bryant's he's beaten in every category. I mean, he's about six inches s shorter, yeah. and he doesn't have the speed to keep up with uh, Sifa, so uh, it's, a, it's a big mis mismatch over there. Bryant's got his hands full. He's been being picked on all single all night long, too. I mean, he's only a sophomore, second year here, but at the same time, he's going to have to try to learn to adjust back there, or you're at least going to have to put some safety help for him. Tate Roberts now goes out far to the left side. And off is underneath Ratcliffe. And pick up about two. I don't think he went down. Oh, did he? I don't think he ever went floor? down. Yeah, I, I don't think he ever touched down. I think he just put his hand on there and spun out of it and was able to score. We'll, we'll probably see on the replay here. But, yeah, they're giving him the touchdown. And like I said, I never saw him put a hand down. That'll end up going as a 32-yard touchdown run. I can't wait to see the replay. I think that was incredible. I mean, it's going to be one of those where we can't challenge it. So that's going to stand. Wow, what a play. 21-14. Vasquez will try the extra point. Yeah, I'm, I'm like you. I'm just kind of waiting on that replay there, but. It's not going to matter. Hercules, uh, did he hook it in? He did. That makes 22 it to 14. And again, I'm just waiting for them to put up the replay. Yeah, here it comes. Rolls right. Gets hit. Yeah, spins. he just sits on him. He sits on the defensive player. 
Pops right it back pops up. Pops right takes back off. up and keeps going. Wow. Kudos to him for just not stopping there. Everybody else just waited thinking he was down and sat right there on the defender, just popped right back up and took it in for an easy six. <laughs> As they so drew that one up, too. <laughs> a couple of unusual happenings for DeCaney has led to some points. That was that was crazy. That was I, that is the most interesting set of points I've seen here. Sanders and Davis. Back deep. And Hercules set to kick off again. Eight point, eight point lead for the Wildcats here in the third quarter. A big lefty. Short kick. And it will go out of bounds. I have never seen so many kickoffs go out of bounds. Well, it definitely um, it's a damper on your return game, but, man, you know, bringing it all the way out to the 40-yard line, that's great field position. Is there a rule I don't know about here in high school that keeps it? Yeah, they're they lining make up the them, They may make them kick it over. Just five yards. They are. <laughs> yeah, making them back up, do it again. <laughs> Let's see if he kicks it again. Well, this may come back to bite you if he ends up down around the 15-yard yeah. line. <laughs> <laughs> now kicking off from 35. Christopher Membrano, the 5'11", 190-pound senior. He's got that golden left foot. Here we go again. Down the middle. Get sh short hop at about the 16. Sanders, get her trying. He got one man to beat on the outside. Oh. And a great open field tackle by Dylan Early. And that is the definition of a shoelace tackle. Should have taken the. Yeah, should have uh, left it with the original kick there, but. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, here we go. Here we go. Finally, Nimitz will take over. About the 27 yard line. <laughs> it is first and zero, according to the boys. Davis running around the left end. He gets, he's got some oh. running room. He breaks, he breaks a tackle. That'll be enough for a first down. He's run out of bounds about the 41-yard line. Great run there by Davis. Found that hole. Just exploded through it. Could have almost broken some six there. Well, you know, he ran, uh, had about a 50-yard run <laughs> last time he touched the ball. So he's just feeling it from that. It's on that high right now. <laughs> that runner's high. I mean, just keep beating him. He's a snatch, snatching the morning. See what he ends up with. Off again, this time up the middle, kick up about six and up. Bring it out to the 46 yard line. about it to the house what a huge touchdown there for Davis so far our offense is still staying on out there so I think they are going to go for two 58 yard run and now he's really putting up some big numbers. Yeah, he is. 
I mean, he's probably up to he 150 yards. Well, rushing. Right. He's like, <laughs> yards. Rushing for a guy who in his first 10 carries maybe had 10 yards. Here we go. Going for two. Got that band playing. Direct snap up the middle. Gets hit around the two-yard line. He'll come up short. Wow, great stand. He is no good. Well, nonetheless, that yeah, makes it 22-20. Duquesne is still in the lead with 7.20 left here in the third. But uh, interesting yep. play call there. It was a direct snap to Timberland Sanders. And Sanders could not punch it in. And especially when Javon Davis, and every hand off there was just running it down their throat. I mean, if you're at least going to do that, I'll let, let a Remo there to kind of make a play with his feet. Not sure Sanders hit the hole he was supposed to. Coaches are talking to him. Kid's kind of had a mixed night. He's had a couple of plays. We'll kick off. 7.20 to go here in the third quarter. Joel Hollier and Brandon MacArthur. Our producer, Suna Vincat. Woo. Suna had a problem with the cameras freezing up earlier at halftime. Thank goodness she fixed that, though. Yeah, exactly. We put her to work during halftime. And there's the squib. Finally, <laughs> two in a row they've gotten it right. Oh, if he can get around that corner. Oh. Nope, couldn't do it. will be probably the worst field position tonight off a kick return for both teams. Jordan Layton with the tackle. Well, let's see if the offensive show can kind of keep going here in the second half and put some pressure on both defenses. I like the pink socks. It's a good change of pace. It really is. High formation. Just direct snap to Williams. Quick slant nice. out to Cephas. And good pickup of about nine yards. They are playing so far off of him. They're just going to take it. I mean, it's one of those. Why not? It's an easy yeah. pickup of five. No problem every time. And then if he does break away, then it's a pass interference. That'll pick up nine yards. So it'll be second and one. I mean, look at Banks over there on the far end right there. That you can see the corner just way off of him. Good five, seven yards. Second short. A lot of things you think you could do here. A little in and out. Got a man open in the middle and oh, overthrew much. him again. And Cephas had a step, too. But it's interesting, with the corners playing so far off, you might as well just keep hitting yeah. these simple dink and dunks until you bring them in. It's, it's there. It's there every every down. Yeah, absolutely. And not only that, on both sides of the ball, you can see Banks. He's got a huge cushion. Cephas, no one's playing up tight on him. Christian Martin now drawing. Cephas. Now can he get it away? <laughs> oh. Well, give give credit to Davion Taylor. He's the one that broke that up. Taylor had a good rush and made Williams get rid of the ball sooner than he wanted to. Brings up fourth down in a yard. So with second and one, they try a couple of pass plays and shoot themselves in the foot. Oh, that's going to be a big drive for Nimitz here. One, only one guy back. Good snap. Kick is away. Good punt. And field it on the run across the 40, the 45, and then dragged out of bounds. By Do Donovan Brooks. That's Timberland Sanders there with that punt return. 
He'll move it into the 49 into decaying territory. Yeah, Cougars in with great field position. Trailing by two. 6.07 to go here in the third quarter. Javion Davis behind Ramon. Pump fake. Oh, oh, another right good throw the right through the hands. Is that, I think that's Sanders again. Yep. Timberland Sanders couldn't hang on to it. Hey, good band. Ah, right, they can rock, man. Hey, we saw that halftime performance by them. Covered in the blue wave. Wasn't sure what that was about, but it was still pretty cool. We've yet to see a quarterback get up under center for either team. <laughs> Reynolds in motion. Snap, hand off to Davis, left side. That's the one they broke a minute ago. Pick up about four. It'll bring up third down and six. Well, third and six here. Let's see what uh, Remo's going to do. Banks is all over Reynolds on the near side here. Ooh, high snap. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, that play didn't really didn't have a chance to get underway because of the high snap. Good hit tackled by Harold Mitchell. And, yep, here comes the punt team. Another senior for the Wildcats. Well, started with two touchdowns. Now we've had back-to-back -back drives and punts. Javon Davis is number two in the district in rushing. He leads the district in average at 10.74. That probably won't change much. Wow, good punt. And it goes oh, back at about it. the four-yard line. Can he get outside? He, oh, oh, nice <laughs> trip, trip up. Because that was nearly a long, long return. Yeah, if he doesn't trip him up there, that's probably another gain of 20 yards. Well, let's see if this uh, Nimitz defense can come out here and get another stop. And Javon Davis up tonight had 57 carries for 612 yards, which is second in the district. Seven touchdowns with his longest at 94 yards. Wow. Pro set. Williams, short dump off to Cephas. Good cut back and still on his feet. Oh, they take a shot to the head. Drops right back up, tough dude. Rashad Curry with the stop. 419 counting. He's just kind of trading blows. It's almost like he was going to have a football lap. Yeah, that's it. Might actually go past the pitch here. Oh, nice snap. Williams is going to have to jump on it. He better fall on it. He does. <laughs> Well, you know you can pick up 10 right here just throwing the quick out to Cephas. That's yep. what they're doing. <laughs> and they got him. And, and, he, and, and he's he gone. Goes. Now it's a foot race. One man to beat. And oh. he is taken out of bounds around the 22-yard line. <laughs> I mean, I, I hate to call it, but it's too, too easy at this point. 
And if I'm Decaney, I go hurry up and I'm just doing the same play. Yeah. And understandably so. Yeah, it's got to be pure frustration once they watch the tape over. And off to Ratcliffe, good. good cut back. He sh should have kept the momentum he had. I mean, cut back, he was, they're going to give him the, the yardage he gained. He'll pick up a three. I'll pick up a two now. Randy Adams goes out. Williams and Ratcliffe in the backfield. Williams looking, another quick out to Cephas. He's hit around the marker. Very close to a first down. Good wrap up tackle there by Brian. That's not an easy man to bring down there either. And it is enough for a first down. So a pickup of eight. It's there all day, man. I mean, I mean it's there all day. Dick Caney saying, look, if you want to you want to stop us, stop us. You know, here it, here it comes. And it brought up right here. Touchdown puts it up nine, too, if the conversion is successful. But... And off to Ratcliffe, left side, pick up a four. Nope, now three. Down to the 10 yard line. They can still pick up a first down without scoring. Here comes that band. Wow, look at them go. I know, right? <laughs> they are just, you should almost have a band cam and just keep it on that. Wide receiver split right. Williams, Ratcliffe, again in the backfield. Oh, another botched snap. And Williams is running for his life, and he's a thrower. He should have thrown, thrown that one away. It's going to take about a six-yard loss. I think that's just inexperience right there. But yeah, like you said, and that's his, I mean, he's way out of the tackle box. All he's got to do is just toss it out of bounds yeah. there. And I think that's the exact conversation coach is going to have there. Probably not too pleasant as he calls a timeout. Timeout, but yeah, he had plenty of time to get rid of that football. Instead, he's going to take he a big to, loss. He just tried to do too much right there. That's it, It's okay sometimes just to throw it out of bounds and live to play another day. And now you're knocking yourself back. And, I mean, a field goal here does put you up five, but you're backing yourself up more than you're leaving more risk to miss. That's yeah, third and about 16. And then again, they do better when they're... I, <laughs> I'm sure first down <laughs> is coming, or you <laughs> see if this will break it. First down or a touchdown. <laughs> I'm glad we're mic'd up to the uh, crowd outside and not the uh, coach's booth next door. Oh, I, I think uh, we'd have the SEC to answer to at this point. I'm not going to lie, it's a, it is just infectious just to watch the band. It's not so too many bands you say that about. No, that's a lot of energy over there. I mean, it is. It's one of those out there. Uh, the crowd's pretty sedated, but the band is definitely not. Well, here we go, third and 16. The has the ball. That's the From minute. the 18-yard 18 18 line. line. Third down. Williams looking left. Oh, a little screen pass into great play. And he will get down to another flag. Good grief. Oh, man. I bet That's going to be probably a hold or an, yeah. an illegal block in the back. Let's see. And it is the hold. That's going to back him up even more. I definitely take that penalty, back him up, so that way the field goals almost get closer out of range. And granted, we did see... Mimbrato's kicking. He's got a great leg, but we know he's got power. Does he have accuracy? That'll make it what? About third and 26? Or is it going to 
be. Mm. We have to gonna. Ah, it should be. About third and sixteen. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's got a uh, man wide open. If he can just see him, he finally does. It's almost oh, picked off. Play. He lobbed it up there. Oh, Had he thrown it hard, I think he he, he was so wide open, yeah. he was just trying to make sure the the uh, throw, which was there, but because he didn't put enough on it, it enabled the defense to come back and almost pick it off. So I mean, he threw it off balance. He almost had enough time to set his feet and really throw a strike in there, but... Uh, Give it up to the Nimitz defense now, pushing them way back. Makes it a, what, a roughly 30-something yard field goal, 35 30, yard field goal. 32-yard field goal for Membranos. Down, it's on its way. It's a sideways it's kick. I don't think it's going to make it. Nope. Wow. And that's uh, why penalties will kill you. Yeah, that's a huge stop for Nimitz. Man, 37-yard field goal just... Not even he didn't have enough leg at all, and not only that, it was just a just a duck up there in the air, just spinning sideways, and that's a huge stop. Now, if you're Nimitz here and you can drive down and score, the momentum is going to be right there for you with 19 seconds left in the third quarter. Well, you know, on those uh, kicks, normally it's end over end, but this yeah. ball is actually spinning sideways. So I, don't, I wonder if that ball was touched at the line of scrimmage. It's hard to do that. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kicking without it being touched. Here you go, Remo, handoff, Davis, nowhere. Did not even get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of about one. There you go, now you see the DeCaney push up front. All that the first quarter, we just saw it every single handoff. They were immediately in the backfield, but I don't know if it's tired legs or what, but we'll wind the quarter down and that's the buzzer. And we'll head to the fourth quarter. You know, Davis has been, they've been hitting that hole on the left side over and over and over, and that's yeah. the one that Davis broke for the uh, uh, 50 yard plus touchdown, but um, it looks like DeCaney has finally fixed that hole <laughs> o over there as they've uh, backed him up on that one. Well, now you got the defenders at least creeping in. This is when you can kind of hit them with a play action and go over the top. And we've seen that uh, Sanders he can definitely make the plays out there on the on the wideout. He makes a great adjustment earlier in the first half. So if I if I'm Nimitz here, you can kind of. Put your foot on their throat and really make a big play here. Well, I, you know, I think it's one of those thing, deals where this team has relied on Reynolds so much, but uh, because Banks has been such a good cornerback, um, and it they've been trying to rely on Sanders more this game. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, man, Banks so, has just shut it down over there. I, I haven't really. I think they challenged him maybe once or twice, and that's about it. So, 12 minutes left to go in this one. Nimitz trails to Caney, 22 to 20. But they have the football at their own 20. Yeah. And off Davis again, left side. Gets around one man, cuts wow. back, and tripped up. It'll be enough for first down. Pick up of about 12 yards, maybe 13. That's right. They were they had lost a yard. You know they don't trip him up there, man. He was going to be breaking that and further. Could have possibly been six. So what a great tackle there. said the tackle was on the Darius Gary, but I don't have that. Friendswood lost their first football game of the season uh, last night to Foster 28-20. They were 5-0 and oh, and they lost lost uh, last night. They got that uh, stud quarterback, right? This is, uh, is that his first year or second year? What is this he? is his second year. He's a sophomore this year. I remember. Uh, Played very well as a freshman last year, Gurdon. Gurdon, yeah, that's what it was. I remember he was the hype as we were getting ready for baseball season. Everybody was talking about him. and doesn't surprise me, man. They, they usually put up a pretty good squad. So now that they lost the first one, where does that drop them in district? Uh, they're now 5-1. and one. Um, Yeah, the loss to, 
to foster really hurts because I think they were two and three. Ooh. Ooh. That's a Tra trap game. Yeah, but ha hats off to them. But, uh, yeah, but good good wins over Galveston Ball and Texas City, uh, and then dro dropping that one. That was tough. Here we go. Oh, and let's and stop. a timeout to Caney. They didn't like the way that they were set up. So <laughs> DeCaney is now the Nimitz of the second half. <laughs> Just burn them. burning all those timeouts. <laughs> we're up two. Let's hold. And, yeah, right. and those are those are tough to lose in a tight game exactly. like this. It's, it's one of those where if you need a drive, especially late in this game, and it's only a two-point game, and it's been back and forth that – if you don't have any timeouts, yes, clock does stop on first down. That's huge here in this league, but you can't keep falling back on that luxury. You need a timeout, especially with this team. They have Both teams haven't really played fast-paced offense, and with a timeout late in the game, you can kind of call several plays, so that way you can move and get the ball rolling. But Because we've seen every time they try to do up-tempo, it's taken a long time to get a play call in. But DeCaney now has the defense they, they want. Nimitz packing it over on the left side. On the far side, look at that. Now, oh, now wow. they got a man in motion. I mean, and, uh, yeah, you got it. Oh, my Lord. And Davis, <laughs> poor guy. Davis, pickup of about two. That's going to be a sore one. Man, they were sending Sanders there. Yeah, on that. Sanders came in motion, and all, somebody almost didn't come with him. Oh, and it was one of those things <laughs> that I think even if you hit him, you only had one man to beat, and he's definitely got the athleticism to do so. Williams was looking that way like he had the option to keep it and throw or hand off. Almost almost movement early. There Pass out. To, ooh. Oh, we're going to have a flag, yep. Pass was completed. Short gain. It's going to be against Nimitz. Probably a hold here. Yep. Uh, that's going to back him up, Ted. I'd like to thank uh, the Nimitz head coach, Richard Slater, for sending us rosters early. Yeah, man, they're on it here at Aldean ISD, not only with just rosters, but just comfort in general and making sure we're always taken care of and even taking suggestions of how they can do things better here, too. It's kind of awesome. Yep. Just like New Waverly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a fun day. <laughs> Pass to the oh, right side. Waiting. What Come back for the football. Sanders, and we talked about how he's going to have to step it up. And that was a nice job coming back for the football by Timberland Sanders. Made a great play and then lowered his shoulder and took out his own guy, Diedrich Flanagan, just absolutely leveled him. Well, that's a huge play. Very close to a first oh, down. Just nudge it. And it comes up just a bit short. This is where I know they're not going to do it, as we can still see him in shotgun. But, oh, they are going to give him the first down. Woo! I was say, it looked close, but... Uh, I mean, not even ask for a measurement? That was kind of generous. Ooh, that was generous. First and ten. Great play by Sanders. Davis, it's a little spin move. Another okay. gain of three. See, they're starting to really play the run here. I think it's a little bit almost telegraphing uh, what they're going to do here on first down. You know they're going to do a inside handoff and let Davis try to get to the outside. That's where I think if you're Remo, you pull that back and just try to sail one deep over the top or either uh, for either Sanders or – Reynolds. Keep in mind, a Remo's a junior, and Davis is a sophomore. Well, that's going to be a good tandem. It's a nice, yeah, that's a nice combination, for, especially for next year. And there's Davis again, this time the right side. Go, gets a oh, break wow. over across the middle and to the right side. He's got some running room. If he can get one more block, look at him run over some guys. Wow. <laughs> All the way down to the seven-yard line. That was just Reynolds. Javon Davis, wow. That was just him being just better than the rest right there. 
That kid is quite impressive, man. You even knew the run was coming, and yet still just bounces it to the outside, throws some guys off, and a huge first down. He's got to be pushing 200 yards. That's the first big run he's had to the right side. Let's see. We got Reynolds with one-on-one -on -one coverage there on the left side. Davis up the middle. Let's go back to that workhorse. He stood up and driven back, but again, another pickup of a few yards. We're still one. waiting for um, the second goal from the oh, six yard. Six, yeah. yeah. Those are the footballs probably at the six. 9.24 left in the game. Reynolds still just on that island over there, man. That's one you might just hike it and throw it up, let him jump up there and go get it. Nimitz trying to take the lead. Davis again, left side, 5-4, down to the 3. That's actually backup running back Martin Mears, number 25. You know what's amazing is they've moved Banks now onto Sanders, and Reynolds is out there, again, just on an island. He's the leading receiver in district. And also, I believe you said leading touchdown receptionist as well, too. Third and goal from the 3. And now they and go. There's ball. your play. Little fade pattern. And there it and is. It's caught in the corner. Give me a job. Nice job, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, coach heard me next door. Reynolds with his eighth touchdown catch on the season gives Nimitz a 26 22 lead with 8.30 to go. And that was a beautiful pass there. Just threw it up to where no one else could get it. Nice little fade in the corner. And Reynolds showing the good hands. I mean, it, you knew it was coming, especially with Banks not on him anymore. It was one of those that it was go to him. Kick is up, and it's good. Well, that'll be a huge, makes it a five-point game there with 8.30 left. 27-22 Nimitz. We'll take a quick timeout. You're watching KMAX Sports Pipe Network. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B Y P E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. KMAX Sports is on Twitter. Get up-to-date scores and more on your computer and on the go with your smartphone. It's fast and easy. Just follow us at KMAX Sports. We have a score from Midway Park. Welcome Boston back to Thorn Stadium. Joe Hollier and Brandon MacArthur. Bringing you the fourth quarter action Boston between Nimitz and DeCaney. Nimitz just taking the lead, 27-22 hear the roar from the crowd as they announce the Astros score. <laughs> That's one of the loudest I've heard them so far. <laughs> Dodgers winning uh, game two over the Brewers. Here comes the squib. squib kick and picked up at the 28, across the 30. Another good move to the outside, still on his feet, cool. and gets it out to about the 35-yard line, maybe the 36. Let's see where they mark him. again, number seven for Nimitz on the tackle there, along with the other host of Nimitz players. That puts the ball right there on the 36-yard line. Again, the squib kick is their go-to, but I don't know if it's hurting them or helping them at this point. And Cephas again has a 10-yard cushion on the right side. Be a handoff up the middle. Oh, oh, he popped immediately. Wow, helmet, helmet comes off. off. What a stick. That's Curry. We've been calling his name all night long, and I think he'll actually have to come off for a play since his helmet popped off. Yeah, a shot Curry. And that guy can play some linebacker, man. He's been laying the wood on everybody. Brings up second and ten. Man, man to man coverage again on the right side. And they are giving him a huge cushion. 
He's looking that way. He's going to roll out. Don't right. throw it away. Good play. Yeah, there we go. Finally, I think he took coach's advice and said, you know what, it's okay if you toss it out of bounds here rather than losing some yards. Big third down now coming up for DeCaney. You know, with the way they're playing off so deep on the receivers, I know we've been saying it all night long, but their greatest Dude. plays have come from just short screens and let them go. I'd be taking that every single Same. down. Until you're going to play some press coverage, man, I'm going to just take free yards. Ashad Curry checks back into the game after getting his helmet back on. Well, let's see what Williams can do here. He's got to make a play. Oh, there'll yeah. be a flag. Oh, no. Ratcliffe went into motion, yeah. and, yeah, he had a couple of guys. That's good. I think he turned up field before <laughs> the ball was snapped. <laughs> Makes it third and 15, unfortunately. Well, that's when they do their best. I mean, yeah, it has been the magic down. Never seen a team, you know, third 18, third 25, pick up as many first downs <laughs> as this, the Caney squad. <laughs> I mean, it's been that kind of day for them, though. The situations where it seems like it's going to be terrible, they either come up with a two-point conversion or a first down. So now third and 15. Man coverage labeled all the way around there. Whew. Only, I think, they might drop the safety. Another, yep. that, he moved too. Wow, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. Big number 65. Yikes, that's Jared Manos backing it up to make it third and 20. And they started this drive out on the 36. They're going the wrong way. <laughs> and now they're backed up to the what? The 20. Now they'll be at the 26. So they've already backed up 10 yards. Run third down one more time. <laughs> Still the magic down, right? And we've been talking about how DeCaney only one timeout left, too. Three receivers to the far side. Williams looking across the middle. He's got a man, but he overshoots oh. him again. And he had Cephas. You can see the frustration from him as well right now, and rightfully so. But that's going to bring up the punt team here. Great job by that Nimitz defense. Number 27, I'll bring on our boy Hercules. Number 48. Yeah, you kind of wonder what Remo and Cephas would be like together. Oh, right? <laughs> Just let them use that arm and chuck it. Punt is away. Sanders with the catch. It's a block, tries Ooh. to get outside, and down about the 40-yard line. The Nimitz will take over at the 40. They lead it 27-22 with 7-12 left in the game. Well, you know what's going to come. It's going to be JV on Davis who's going to be taking some handoffs here as he's been running wild ever since that 50-yard run to close out the first half. He has just been running all over this to KD defense. Well, that, that's just it. Can, can they pick up enough first downs to run this clock? It's one of those that it, about four first downs actually might be able to put this game out of reach. Reynolds with the big cushion on the left side. There's Davis around the right side. Got some running room. Cuts back up the middle, and there's the first down right there. Pickup of about 12 yards for Davis. Great tackle by Dylan Early there from Decaney. Under seven minutes to go now. Again, Decaney only one timeout. So whatever adjustment Decaney made on the left side. And now the right side's opened up. Yeah, the Cougars have just said, well, just, we're going to go right now. It's one of those situations where Decaney bend, don't break. A field goal still makes it a one-possession game. Remo, and off Davis left side. And, oh, he wow. did break the tight. He did, nice job just getting back the line of scrimmage. I mean, that should have been a loss of at least three or four right there. And Davis just making something out of nothing. And he has got to be tired. I, I mean, he's got to have at least 30-something carries.
Kelvin Hampton checks in. Quincy Jack and Hampton on the right side. Reynolds far left. Under 10 seconds on the play clock, play clock here. And off Davis up the middle. He's got another hole. Breaks out to the outside, the 40, the 35, the 30, 25. And run out of bounds oh. about the 23-yard line. Another huge run and there's a flag. for Javon Davis. A couple of flags thrown in here. I think they're going to tack on a little bit more. Maybe unsportsmanlike conduct. I, it's going to be on... Uh, I don't know who it is, Judge. It. They're taking Davis out, so I don't know if it's on him. Yep. We can hear the coaches next to us. Definitely voice for us, so I think. Uh, a little taunting there, I think. Yeah, I think he was letting them know that he's having a big day. But that's, I mean, you can't do that right now. That's going to stop the clock. Not only that, it's going to back you up. And a field goal right now makes it an eight-point game. So if, if at the bare minimum, if you're Nimitz, you got to walk away with at least three points. Yes, yeah, it's, it's bad enough that you know you're a little guy and, and beating him, but then you're a little guy and being cocky yeah. about it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he comes back to bite you. Yeah, it's one of those where uh, I have a feeling uh, they'll be uh, sizing him up here when he gets back into the game. So that'll bring Martin Mears into the backfield instead of Davis. See how long Davis stays out. Fake the mirrors. Looking in the far corner, pushing off a little bit, and Ooh. collision down there, going for the football, and it falls incomplete. Dylan Early right there, coming over with the help and laying the lumber on it on Reynolds. Reynolds looking for a flag, not getting it. That was perfectly timed. He was there just in time. I, I'm glad they ate the flag there. And it was all of one play. Davis makes his way back in. Yeah, but he stops the clock again there with the incompletion. Yep. 5.30. Second and 10 from the 32. Well, if you're Davis here, you need to atone for your mistake. Let's see if he can rip off a big one. Davis again up the middle. Cuts left. Got a good run. And I think it's going to be enough for first down. I think he got down to about the... 18-yard line. Yeah, it it is enough for a first down. down. There you go. That's exactly what Davis needed to do. I'll have the clock rolling. Should have stopped on the first down, but. So they're taking their time. Yeah, no rush. Still 15 seconds on the play clock. You got to bleed a little bit more. Ooh, back. I thought Davis was a Another earlier. fade into the corner and caught. Wow. Reynolds with another fade, and deep fade this time. Too, because I think they're going to hit him for a targeting. But, wow, what a play call there, going for the win. Reynolds just jumping up, making a great play. Dylan Early and Malcolm Johnson. Either one of them could stay with Reynolds, and that is his, his second touchdown catch of this game, both coming here in the fourth quarter. Wow. And not only that, back-to-back -back drives, too. So I not only take the lead, but then put it almost out of reach. Sanders to hold sure what the flag was for. Good snap. Kick is low, it's but good. it gets through. And just like that, we got us a, a two-score game now. 33-22, to Nimitz. 34-22, Nimitz leads this now. And if you can see here on the replay, wow, what a perfect pass. Just dropped it right in there for Reynolds. He didn't have to make a move at all. And then he took the shots. Kudos to him for hanging on. Touchdown number nine There's for Reynolds. Man, I've never been a bad guy until I've met these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Did any of y'all play an instrument? No. I, I was on the field, thank you. <laughs> and ukulele? Who <laughs> is like... Can yeah, that's play? not really in the band. 
<laughs> I, what, what marching band did you play the ukulele in? Hawaii? <laughs> I won a talent show in fifth grade playing Mary Had a Little Lamb on my cornet. Uh, in fifth grade? Yeah. Mom taught me the three notes the night before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things where... I mean, I'm a fifth grade teacher. I don't know if that's necessarily that talented. Well, I'll admit Ben Harrison played from the halls of Montezuma, <laughs> and he probably should have won, <laughs> but I, w I may have been a little more popular. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I won the popular Le vote. Left it up to the people, <laughs> huh? <laughs> the halls of Montezuma was much more impressive than Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> just, just saying. So it was a talent show in quotation marks. I voted for Ben. I can <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Voted, actually voted for the guy that was in band. <laughs> well, thanks to the flag, that moves it up to the 45 on this kickoff. And here's a good call for the square oh, kick. Oh, oh, that the hands it bounces all around. Finally picked up at the 10, and oh, he's got some running room. Oh, gets it back out to about the 18-yard line, maybe 17. See where they mark it. <laughs> 443. Well, now I guess you can play off a little bit. You just can't give up the big score. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things where not only is it 4.43, Decaney with only one timeout left, you can give them some space, but a big play here can still hurt you. <laughs> Williams rolling right. And, oh, good oh, block wow. in the backfield. Williams will still I think he'll step out after a game of maybe one. Yeah, but good job on him at least getting out of bounds, stopping the clock at 434. But right now you kind of need a miracle if you're Decaney with their offense in last place, even though they put, they've had a pretty good day. Yeah, and these two teams are you know battling out, both one and one in district play. And this would be a huge win for whichever team because they'll stay in the playoff hunt. Yeah, coming one and two, coming out of that hole is just a little bit too challenging. Especially with Westfield and Eisenhower in, yeah. in here. Three wide oh, receivers. A jailbreak right there. On the run and overthrown Ooh. again. Cephas again overthrown. That's Christian Martin there on the coverage right there, the senior. You know, honestly, you don't have to overthrow that guy. No, exactly. He's he's, he's six so four. tall. Just throw it up high, let him go up there and get it. And not only that, I mean, he's he's scary fast for his, yeah for his size too. He, it, it, to bring him down isn't going to be easy. Just hit him and let him do the work. I don't understand why they keep overthrowing him. When yeah, you, you just let him let him battle for it. Third and ten. Oh, oh moving false on start. the right side. Now it's going to back him up again. Yep. That's going to put him deep inside. Up. That's, I believe it's Ravion Flowers, and they're going to take him out. So yeah. Flowers will check out after a false start. Not a conversation I'd want to be a part of if I were Flowers. Yeah, you don't see anybody coming up and talking to him. Yeah, there's no high fives. Will not be going to the club tonight. <laughs> his hometown neither to be honest right. with you but nah. I'm not sure why they want to know that <laughs> <laughs> they're fed up with it though here comes Hercules Sanders back Hercules looks like he's kicking this one out of bounds nope Sanders will come in take it around the 40 across the 44 across the 45 bounces off to another tackle oh and he fumbles, fumbles. football I, I think they are on it I think Nimitz jumped yeah. on it yeah that'll be Edwin Deerman 
I believe, who just got the recovery. God, that's all Sanders needs is a fumble. I mean, that would have been just devastating if they would have picked that up. But nonetheless, an interesting punt on fourth down. I know you're deep in your own territory, but you're down two scores with 4.03 left. And again, you only have one timeout. I guess if they can get a quick stop here. They have what? One timeout left? Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> even, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're probably going to bleed it down to at least two minutes left. Well, you know, there, yeah, there's going to be a handful of running plays here. And if he gets one first down, it's kind of oh. good night. Oh, they're going to throw. Jump. No way. Jump offside. No. Nope. And it works. Stay in bounds. He does. Pick up of about six. Wow, interesting play call there. But uh, Dedrick Flanagan, nice reception there. Oh, wow. They gave him a terrible spot. Oh. Now he's picking up about four. Wow. That no one in the wheelchair will be allowed to come onto the field. <laughs> was uh, storming going to be an issue? Because there's a PSA announcement, too. And it is quite a serious one to stay. Wow, it's like a... I, I mean, yeah, I didn't feel like this crowd was the Russian type. Has that been a common problem here? <laughs> I mean, but please stay in your seats, everybody. Second and six. There's a handoff. Davis cuts back in the middle. Pickup of about... Lucky if he got two. Number five, Davis Have you ever gotten to storm the, f the field before? I did on the uh, Crabtree catch against Texas, because I obviously went to Texas Tech. That was the best storm. <laughs> Working a game, yeah. Just threw off the headset, tore off onto the field. I was just jacked up. Game wasn't even over. <laughs> That's no, that is more impressive <laughs> coming out of the press box. <laughs> I mean, right? That guy is not. It takes you a lot longer to get to the field. <laughs> yeah, he's not objective either out there. Davis around the left side. Stay oh, in uh -oh. bounds. That was close. That was not a face mask mm. or a. It was close to collar. being a horse collar, but they're going to say he went out of bounds, which is just stay in bounds, go down. So that will bring up what fourth down now? No. Yeah, they're punting. Yeah. That or they're punting on third. Huh. 2.23 to go. So, Bikini does get the stop. Yeah, but going out of bounds. Two too, minutes have gone off the clock. You should have made them burn that last time out. That's a producer. Good snap. Oh, they got it. Oh, Good they blocked it. On. And that punt is blocked. Picked up. And he's and gone. he's going to score. Wow. And I think, and just I think either like he, that, the can <laughs> either the hit is back or, in the game. We need a medic. <laughs> we need a new desk in that <laughs> there is the booth next a. to us. <laughs> I'm sure if they listen back, they're not going to find it as funny as we do. But wow, there we go. This will make it a five-point game here with the extra point and only 2.10 left, one timeout. I mean, it, that's what I'm saying. You should have just kept it on the ground and bled that clock. Make there it was use that timeout. Post. It was a good snap, too. There was just a lot of missed block assignments. Yep. I mean, two guys could have easily blocked that. Hercules on for the extra point. It's on its way and is good. And boom. 34-29 with 2.10 to go in this ball game. You go onside? I don't think so. Not yet. I mean, it's one of those. Why not? You just got to block. Rub it in. I'm waiting to see. I, I could not. There was a host of white jerseys heading to the end zone, so I did not get who scored that touchdown. Yeah, I don't think they're going to replay it either. <laughs> Home by it, see. Well, yeah, I didn't get to see who scored it either, but he picked it up, and he was gone on the sideline with blockers ahead of him. Let's see what they'll do here. And to give, <coughs> give my LASIK vision eyes yeah, the real test. Excuse. I think it was on the far end of the field. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna see an odd side. Oh, oh, here, here it is. A sideline view too. Yeah, and he's gonna take off. I still can't see the number, but yeah, he was gone. Oh, they better get some guys up there on the line. I think they're gonna go onside. I really do. Come on, Hercules. 
See if Make it interesting. And he does, and it's oh, wrapped up immediately. Great job there. Pick, falling on it on the 49-yard line is Sanders. Well, with only one timeout, 2-10 left, they could, if all goes well, probably get the ball with probably under a minute. Well, you never know if uh, I, you Nimitz gotta, throws the football again. He's whew. running out of bounds. And one bot snap, and you we're know, talking they, devastation. They, the last two drives, they have not been using the the uh, snap clock to its fullest. No. I, no, exactly. They've had at least 15 seconds as they're snapping the ball. Maybe that's why they made the announcement to not storm the field, because we might have a huge. Good cut back. There he goes. Pick up a Five yards for right. Davis. And they'll burn that time out with a minute 59 left. I'm going to hand off here. You bleed the clock down. It should be about a minute 19. Another handoff. And yeah, we're talking about. They're going to get the ball back. You, yeah. know, you just know they are. I mean, it's <laughs> it's been that kind of game. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. For all I know, they'll drop back and hit Reynolds deep for 50 yards. And bring Cephas in on defense. <laughs> Put him back there. Ukulele. Seriously. So here we go. Well. Much different game than we called here two weeks ago with Aldine and Eisenhower. It was an absolute blowout. Maybe we got a good contest here tonight. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Another handoff. Sorry, first, second five. And it, at the get a yard? Yeah, got it about a yard. It's be third and four. Here's the game right here. You got to stuff them if you're Decaney. It just give yourself a chance. The first down ends this game. So what you call here? You got to hand it off. Bleed the clock. It's been one of those where we haven't seen either offense go super up-tempo. If you get it close enough, you can debate going for it. But They could run this down almost to a minute 10 if they wanted to. Yeah. 11 seconds left. Nope. Oh, Snap it early. There's your and run. He and he will it. pick up the first down and more. Breaks down to the right side. He's got one man to outrun. Touchdown. Touchdown. Wow. Wow. Or you could do that. <laughs> My Lord, has he had a game. That's got to be over 200 and something yards today. It's got to be. I mean, then what? That's his third touchdown on the ground? It's got to be. I mean, it's that was his probably second 40-plus yard run of the or third 40-plus yard run of the day. I mean, that guy is just an absolute workhorse. Wow, Jalen Davis, have yourself a day. And that changed the tone there in the coach line. Oh, he'll botch the snap. He'll roll out this time. He's still up. He'll fire. Oh, it's gonna be picked off and returned. <laughs> No way. He's gone. <laughs> Picked off by Dylan Early. Wow. I mean, granted, it still makes it a nine-point game, but <laughs> it just adds to the mystery of this game. Two points, 40 to 80. <laughs> 40 to 31 as Early returns it all the way for the two points. And here we go. We'll see it on the instrument replay here. I don't know if he dropped this. Oh, no, we'll see the touchdown here. Just break into the outside. Just right through the tacklers. Throws him off. No problem. Scampers, and he is gone. Uh, probably not. Probably not. I think they've only been going one way with the replays here. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then a huge run. <laughs> Well, it's been entertaining. It has definitely been that. 
Got to kick it off here. Minute 10 left. You need a huge return. And I, I have no idea how this game's going to end. So. Yeah, this will be the one they return all the way. Exa exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> They'll do a squib kick. He'll pick it up. He'll just take it to the house. They'll probably recover the onside. And then it'll come down to Hercules. Still come down and get a two-point conversion <laughs> yes. just so we'll lose by one. <laughs> Well, 71 total points of offense for both teams. It's definitely been entertaining. Again, DeCaney only giving up 208 yards average, and I'm guaranteed it. Yeah, that's. Maybe on Davis has that alone. Oh, great tackle. That's great coverage right there. Dedrick Flanagan. Yeah, Randy Adams, who on the return there just had nowhere to go. And Sean Roy with the stop. Dedrick Flanagan and number 53, Sean Roy. Well, here we go. If you're DeCaney, you need something quick. And so far, Cephas, he's been able to break away every single time. It's just the only problem is Williams has overthrown him. There, now you can actually play off these receivers. Monte Roberts near side. And guess who's going down the middle is Cephas. Oh! Good job breaking up. that one up. That's the best pass that's been thrown to Cephas tonight. Yep. And, that's, and that was kind of the pass that you were talking about earlier. Yep. Stop trying to overthrow him there. Throw it up. Let him go get it. But got to give it up to Christian Martin, who just made a fantastic play on the ball there. If you notice, they switched Martin on to uh, yeah, Cephas. Bryant, Bryant could not stay with him. I mean, it's understandable. And, and Martin's he's made a great adjustment ever since they moved him over there. Stepping up. Got a man in the middle. There's the, the guy they have been have not accounted for twice now. Oh, got to get out of bounds, though. Randy Adams. The clock will stop. That's, that's his second catch. It's going to be 48 seconds left, and the clock will start once the chains are set. Williams quickly trying to get everybody into formation. Clock's rolling now. There, nobody's covering that, uh, Adams. Oh, he's going to go down. Ball is Ball's loose. out. They'll pick it up, though. There's going to be one destroyed press I'm box. telling you. They're most upset about Randy. Nobody is covering Randy Adams at all. They're like, they're so intent on covering Cephas. And he'll clock it there with 17 seconds left. Still down 40 to 31. And Surprised they didn't get a flag for too many men on the field. This is where we talked about it earlier with the timeouts that you just can't burn those. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it like Nimitz did and at least use them in the first half. You can just, those timeouts in the second half are just such gold. Third and 14. Kind of hoping the band would keep on jamming. Williams dropping back. Down the sideline. He's got a man. He's going to overthrow him again. Wow. wow. Nice arm, Williams. I mean, but you, he just can just to yeah. quit overthrowing guys. It's one of those things where there's no doubt can he chuck it deep. He's just got to work a little bit more on his touch. That was not Cephas. That was not Cephas. There's no way that was Cephas. Uh, I believe it was Caleb Phipps. No, he's a linebacker. It would have been Omarion Thomas Keener. It's number 15. Oh, then never mind. That's Terrell Ratcliffe. Let me just keep reading yeah. names until I get there. Yeah, yeah, it was, Rat <laughs> it was Ratcliffe. Fourth down. Oh, oh missed no. another snap. My goodness. That's probably going to end the ball game there unless he can make some crazy. Williams has out. a lot of room to run. Yeah, we're two seconds, one That's, second. And he'll go the other direction, and now he's in big trouble. <laughs> At, from the 10-yard line. I mean, it doesn't even matter if you just let him go. My Lord, this is a crazy play. And that will do it. <laughs> one away. We finally woke Suna up. It's the one play she enjoyed. It's the last one of the game. <laughs> and we... Williams ran a marathon of his own. I mean, he's got to be just dead. 
And let's hope those fans don't storm the field. A great, great come from behind win for the Nimitz Cougars to go to two and one in district. Yeah, absolutely. two and four overall. Give it up to their defense in the second half. They really put the clampers down. It was just uh, some mistakes made on the special team side. We'll take a short break and we'll come back out, come back to close this one out. You're watching KMAX Sports Fight Network. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B -Y -P -E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, throws into the end Bad zone. Bad again, he hits the turf. And, and Dead Horse scoops it up. Cameron Wilkins has it. the corner on the end zone. 10, 5, touchdown. We are the largest. We are the best. Bringing your teams to you. We've been doing it for 15 years. Inside, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. touchdown. 10, 5, touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. Welcome back to Thorn Stadium where the Nimitz Cougars outlasted the Decaney Wildcats. And it uh, was, was really Brandon Javon Davis's night. He uh, got off to a slow start, got, got stuffed probably his first 10 runs, and then we're guessing he ended up with about 220 yards. That, uh, yeah, that might almost be generous. Uh, rushing tonight. Um, and I, honestly, I, I, DeCaney looked like they had this this game wrapped up, and, and they kept going with their, that game plan and just hitting that short short pass. And then they started getting greedy, and uh, it just ended up backfiring on them. Yeah, I mean everything was going right for them. Everything in that first half. I mean they were third and 16. Oh, let's get a first down here on a penalty. We get a touchdown. We're going for the extra point. We bobble the snap. We break it down for a two point conversion. I mean it's it was incredible how everything was wrong with them. Big ups to Nimitz, though. I mean, they were down basically the entire game, and they just kept feeding their workhorse, Jalen Davis, who ended up with a huge day. Or J.B. on Davis, my apologies, who ended up with a huge day, over 200 yards. And, I mean, they're the number one passing attack, and you would have never known that from the way he was running all over the place. And not a clean game by either team. A lot of, lot of penalties going back and forth. So it's, uh, you know, just kind of who was, who's was going to make the fewest mistakes. Yeah, luckily for Nimitz, man, a great win. That was huge in front of the home crowd there, and uh, that's a big one to go 2-1 and one here in district and not fall to 1-2. and two. Unfortunately for Decaney, they'll suffer that, but still a lot of talent on that side of the ball for them. They, they've got to they've be very positive about things. Their defense probably didn't play the way they wanted them to today, but for the most part, Nimitz, man, that offensive line just created so much for Davis that he just was, un, he was just unmanageable for him. Some, some good offensive players on the Nimitz side, uh, Remo, Davis, Sanders, and Reynolds. They, they really were the uh, workhorses for the uh, Cougars offense to, uh, tonight. Marcus Banks defensively for Decaney was, was awesome, as, as well was early. Uh, and, and it was kind of fun to watch that Decaney d defense get going, especially in the early half. But uh, Davis warmed down in the second half. Yeah, that front line had such a huge push there in the first couple quarters that they were just shutting Davis down, and then it kind of fell apart. But then – Big ups to Carl Reynolds, who just had two huge touchdowns at the end of the game, and that kind of put it out of reach for him. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Um, again, Joe Heyer for Brandon MacArthur and our producer, Suna Venkat, and our QA, Merle Bertrand. We'll bid you adieu here from Thorn Stadium, where the Nimitz Cougars defeat the Decaney Wildcats. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.